Uh, it's, it's, it's crazy because just a few hours ago, a young person, you know, just, they just lost their life. And I feel like the whole city's quiet right now. And as the man behind the music, you know, I feel that it is, it's my duty to raise awareness and, and just let people know what's really going on in life these days. This is not a, like, this is nothing to play around with. You know, um, it's sad because it, it takes the loss of life to appreciate it. And just to think about something like that is, it just shouldn't happen like that. We shouldn't have to lose life in order to appreciate life, which is why we're doing this documentary right now. So, we're around the same area right now that that the, the crime happened. Uh, I just like I said, we want to raise awareness, and I just want to see how people feel, just on a general aspect, about valuing life and not taking stuff for granted. So. Uh, Right now, we're at the intersection of Forest Hill and Military, West Palm Beach, Florida. Like I said, um, an innocent bystander had no intentions of, you know, going to the club for any criminal activity. Just wanted to go out and have a good time. And because certain people, you know, didn't know how to act their age or felt like what they see on TV or what they learn or what they see is just something they want to look up to because they think it's a cool thing to do because they did that somebody lost their life It's just sad because I know how people feel when just so unexpectedly life is taken away from you and it's it's just like it's just ridiculous because like I, I know how it feels from an experience point of view like I had a family member in New York City you know they were at a party you know him and his boys were at the party his boys were getting into a little jumble with another group of guys and and he tried to save them and said, hey, come out, come out, come out. Let's leave, let's leave, because he didn't want to be a part of the, any trouble. He didn't want to be a part of any trouble. And it's just crazy because those same guys, the other group of guys that his friends were involved with, just started shooting up for no reason. And out of everybody who lived, my cousin was the one who got hit by the straight bullet. And, and passed away. So we're here, I wanna give a big shout out to Palm Beach Strike Zone, uh, Anna Papa and Paul Miko, who has agreed and sponsored this documentary here at the Palm Beach Strike Zone. Uh, again, we're raising awareness to appreciate life with one of the events that just happened at a, a local nightclub. Again, I said as a DJ, uh, I needed to reach out and, and let the younger generation know that I call myself the future and they are also the future along with me. So with that being said, uh, I want to ask the kids here at Tommy Strike Zone who come out here. And by the way, there's bowling, there's an arcade, uh, there's a snack bar, there's plenty here for the kids to do um, all summer long. And right now we have a few kids here who uh, want to volunteer and show their opinion. So uh, we're going to give you a little bit of that. If you could have anything right now, right this second, what would it be? I would truly say my best friend back. Your best friend back? So life in general? Yep. Alright, that's a good answer. That's what it would be.
there's one thing you could have right now, what would it be? Bentley. A Bentley? Yeah. Okay. What about life? life. Of course. Of course? Yeah, okay. I can't drive the Bentley. You can't drive the Bentley if you don't have a life, right? So if there's anything, if there's one thing you could have right now, what would it be? Life. Life. Huh? All right, so quick question. If you could have one thing right now, what would it be? Money? Money? Money. Are you sure? Yeah. Really? What would you do with that car? Car. 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 Life with money. <laughs> one thing you could have right now, what would it be? Some more me. My baby T.I. Rapping through it take off. Million dollars. My husband Tell Outner. Family issue solved. A new skateboard. But what about yeah. life? You can't have none of that without life, right? I suppose. I guess. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. You can't resolve your family issues without life, right? You can't see your baby T.I. without life. So if there's one thing you can have right now, what would it be? The ability to live. The ability to live. There you go. One thing right this second, what would it be? Money. Everything rolls around money. Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Cash money. But, what about life? You can't have money if you're not living. You can't have a Lamborghini. You can't drive one if you're not living. You can't have money if you're not living. So if there was one thing you could have right now, right this second, what would it be? Immortality. Uh, Immortality. Overall, life. Life, baby. Life. Something right this second. What would it be? A million dollars. What would you buy with that million dollars? Uh, uh, something my mama. Okay, that's what's up. But what about life? Right? You can't spend a million dollars if you don't have life, right? Uh, so if there was one thing you could have right now, what would it be? Yeah, it is, baby. So the ultimate message that I'm trying to give out to everybody who's watching this video right now, whether you're a teenager or an adult, this goes for all age groups, cherish life. The next 60 seconds aren't promised. The next hours not promised. Something could happen right now and no one would ever know it. You would never know the cause. I mean, the whole point of this message is to value life. You have people who are innocent bystanders and for no reason life is taken away from them. Just because certain people don't know how to act or certain people see what they see on TV and they want to be just like that and we have to come together as a community and realize that positivity is overcomes all this whatever you see on TV who cares that's Hollywood that's TV that's why they live after TV when it happens in reality nine times out of ten people don't live and that's the problem we take TV and bring it to reality and it has a different meaning in reality if you do not cherish your life now, what makes you think you're going to cherish it in the next few years, in the next few minutes? What makes you think you're going to have enough time to cherish it before you realize life is actually taken away from you? I want you to realize that it should not take the loss of life to actually embrace life itself. I'm DJ Legato, and I hope this reaches out to you.